I recently upgraded my computer system. I replaced the motherboard, the CPU, the RAM, and the SSD. As you can see here, I put a 5950X Ryzen processor in here, which is a 16 core, 32 thread processor. I loaded it up with 64 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, um, and I put in a really fast SSD. So I'd like to to uh, benchmark the database functions of, of my digit system with popular uh, database platforms. Um, I've previously been uh, benchmarking against version 9.5 of Postgres, but I wanted to test it out against the latest versions on uh, this super fast hardware and see how it stacks up today. So I went and downloaded uh, PG Admin 4 uh, and uh, Postgres version 13. So I want to run a few, and I loaded in the Chicago crime data that I've done on other videos. But this is a you know 7.4 million row 22 column table in here where I can run a set of queries against it and see how I stack up. You can see here I do a little explain analyze where I'm selecting everything where. Uh, in the ward column, the value is 20, and you can see it takes about 685 milliseconds. Uh, I can run it a few more times here. There's 688, uh, 693, so around just a little under uh, 700 milliseconds for for that particular query. If I go to my, uh, let's look at, I want to look at just burglaries and thefts. So. Um, over here and we'll run that same select analyze to see how long this takes and you'll see it takes a little over 1.2 seconds to, to execute that same thing again this is returning about 2 million of the rows in that 7.4 million row table uh, run it two or three times here and you can see it every time it takes about 1284 milliseconds or 1.2 seconds execute that query. Go to my, let's, uh, now let's look at where, where uh, the, the crime or the case number starts with the letter H. So I've got the, um, another query here and you'll see if I run this thing, this is going to take a little longer because there's most of them start. We get uh, 5,000 milliseconds, so about five seconds to, to execute that particular query on Postgres. So, uh, run it a couple times there, and each time is about five seconds. So, now let's go to, to, di to digits here. I've got that exact same table in digits, uh, 7.4 million rows in my crimes table, and here's my three queries. Uh, turn on the monitor performance. Let's run that uh, Ward 20. You see that, that came up very, very fast. Here's my thefts and burglaries. And here are the cases that start with the letter H. If we go over to the markers and see how long each one of those took. Uh, we see it's only 13 milliseconds for the, the ward, so I'm about 50 times faster than Postgres in that case. Uh, the burglaries and thefts, it took me 16 milliseconds in instead of uh, 1.2 seconds, so that's about 45 times faster. Let's see, is that right? No, that's about 87 times faster. And here is the, the last one where it was taking almost a little over five seconds to find the uh, cases that started the letter H. And here I'm taking 619 milliseconds or a little less or a little more than half a second. So in that particular case, I'm about eight times faster. Um, so the gap is, seems to be widening on this faster hardware. I, my, my system, which is highly threaded, uh, takes advantage of all those nice cores in Ryzen. Um, even with a 7.4 million row, I'm, I'm really fast. I can drill down. I want to see all the robberies. Here's all the robberies that happened on a sidewalk uh, with an armed handgun. You know, I can just drill down really, really fast. Here's the 22,000 crime reports where all three of those are four, four robbery, sidewalk, hang, yeah, three, three different conditions. Uh, just drills down really fast 
even with a 7.4 million row table, uh, we can drill down in all kinds of things. Uh, I want to find all the simple assaults or batteries. Here they all are. Uh, 641,000 of them out of the, the 7.4 million row table. Uh, I want to find them all, the simple assaults and batteries. I happened in District 14. Again, the response is super fast on this new hardware and the gap seems to be widening. Uh, under the old uh, version of Postgres on my old hardware, uh, most of the queries were coming back about four times faster with this updated hardware and the latest Postgres have extended that to where I'm about ten times faster with most queries that I've been able to run. So it's a, it's a market improvement. Thank you very much.